Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to demonstrate a colour analysis with Neve here. So Neve, have you had your colours done before? No, I haven't. Great, okay. So we're gonna go through it step by step. I'll explain each process. And if you're curious about colour analysis at all, I do them online and in person. So I work with people all over the world and in person on the east coast of Ireland. So if you're in that region, let me know. Or alternatively, as I said, I work worldwide online as well. So let's get started with today's video. The first thing that we need to do when we're doing a colour consultation is have a blank canvas. So that means no makeup, no false tan, no tinted moisturiser, which Neve has followed these guidelines. And also we need a blank canvas around her face as well, particularly for this first part of the consultation where we focus on the undertone and the tone of the skin, two different things. So I'm going to put this cape on Neve so that we kind of take out the purple that she's wearing, which is very nice on her, but we need to find out if it's her best colors. So we're going to just place the cape around her for this color analysis. Now that we have a blank canvas, we can focus in on the skin. So the first thing I'm going to do, Neve, is to show you some colors on you that one are going to be warm, the other is going to be cool. And what I want to stress is that you must take your preferences for the color out of the equation. So we can't look at the color and say, oh, I just like that color or I don't like that color. That's not what we're interested in right now. What we're interested in is what is that color doing to your skin, to your face? What we are looking for is clarity and brightness in the skin. That's what we want. It often gives a definition to the chin as well or to the jawline. If the color doesn't work for you, what can happen is the complexion be can become yellow looking. The jawline can appear to expand and you generally look tired or older than you are. Uh, so what we're looking to do is, of course, not achieve those things, but achieve the bright, fresh, clean looking skin that the right color can give you. So let's go ahead and look at some of those. So I have a selection of cool and warm colors here that I'm going to show Neve, And we're just gonna, again, focus on what's happening to the skin. We're not too concerned at this stage about, you know, focusing in on the eyes or that kind of thing. We're focusing in on the skin itself and what's going on there. So the first color that you can see here is a cool color, Neve, and underneath is a warmer color. So notice what you notice. If this is new to you, you may not notice a difference at all. I've been doing this for a while, so I generally see this quite obviously. We've got this cool, bright pink. Moving to more of a salmon color, which is part of the warm family. So it's a little bit more yellow and orange to this color than the pink. Neve, do you have any preference? Um, I'm preferring the pink. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Um, because my skin looks a bit more yellow when you show the salmon. Yeah, I see that as well. So there's a freshness here. I also see more definition in the jawline and through the cheekbones as well. And Pay attention to the lips as well. So with the pink, the lips look nice and pink and rosy and juicy, which is great. <laughs> uh, but if we do this with the salmon, do you see how we just don't notice that color so much? The, the, the lips are kind of almost a little bit gray, dare I say. Not what we want. We definitely want the pink juicy lips. Okay, bright even complexion. Yes, I think that's one point to the cool side. Okay, so let's move on. Cool red, rust red. Quite a dramatic difference in this one I see. Which one do you prefer, Neve? Definitely the cool red. Yeah, what yeah. do you see? I just uh, think that my skin looks more fresh with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. yeah. 
yeah there's a little bit more yellowness showing up here and again it's not that kind of glowy warm tone that you know when a warm color suits you that's what you should see uh, warm tones if you are not warm undertoned can bring out a yellowness or sallowness to the skin which is obviously not what we want so yes I would agree another point to the cool side all right let's have a look now at we're going to take a look at plain black okay black's a difficult one to wear for a lot of people um, especially as we we go through the path of life. So we've got the cool black versus warm brown. How do you feel about this? I think it's a tricky one. The black is too harsh on you. Mm. It's too harsh. So what, if we're focusing in on temperature, fine line between which ones. Um, and actually in this case, I'd probably go for the brown yeah. overall. It's not a particularly warm brown, so it's kind of, it's fairly neutral. Um, so I think that's working actually better than the black in this case. So we'll give one point to the warmer side in this case. Next up, we have a fuchsia pink. It's part of the cool family. And we're gonna compare that to an orange. Now, fun fact, orange is one of those colors that is only warm. Most colors can be made cool or warm by simply adding yellow or blue to it. Orange is simply warm. So if orange doesn't work for you, there's a good ind indication there that we'll stay away from warm colors. Let's have a look then. Oh, that, that seemed like a strong reaction. What did you see? <laughs> oh, it just, it just doesn't work. It fights with my skin. Yeah, though, and there, that's a really good way to describe it, fighting with your skin. We obviously never want colors to be fighting with your skin. Color, wearing your best colors is all about harmony and fighting with your skin, not harmonious. How do you feel about that? A lot better. <laughs> yeah, I, like a lot better. Definitely, there's no question in my mind here that the pink is working better for you. Oh, see that yellow come out in your skin? I wonder if that's coming through on camera, but certainly it's coming through here. Okay, this time we have a warm green on top. Okay, so this is more of a yellow green, whereas this is a cool green with a lot more blue in it. Do you see the difference in the greens here? How much more yellow there is here than the blue? How do you feel about these, Neve? I definitely prefer this one. Mm. Yeah. Why is that? I just feel like, again, this brings out too much yellow in my skin. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate this on you by any means. Um, I think it's a lot more wearable, certainly, than the orange. Mm -hmm. um, and as well, you know, you have a little bit of green in, in your eyes, so that mm -hmm. helps. But again, we're focusing on the skin tone here. And your skin just became so much clearer and brighter here. Yeah. I think, you know, I, we'll find out if you're fully cool later on. Um, but there are definitely some warmer colours that I didn't mind on you. So it could be the case that we're borderline cool into warm, which could be the case. Would you agree that we're leaning in a cool direction? Yes. For the most part? For the okay. most part, yeah. So let's have a look at gold as a metallic. Okay. And often these colors will, they'll look okay if we don't compare it to anything else. So you might go, okay, you know, that's, that's fine. But it's when we compare it that we see, wow, there's actually a big difference. So let's have a look at silver. Yeah, there's definitely a freshness there. Again, I don't, I don't mind the gold on you. No, I think it, I it's okay, it. like with my eyes. Yeah, and, and that yellowness creeps back in a little bit. And see how, what's the definition in your jawline? Okay, a hmm. lot more definition there. You just went, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So I think we can we can say safely that you are in the cooler side of the seasonal color analysis. What does that mean? Just to let you know that there's four seasons that we look at. Two are cool, two are warm. So we're looking to see where Neve sits here uh, as a possibility. 
The cooler undertones sit in the winter or the summer family. So that's now our choices. The difference here is winter has a much higher intensity uh, and then the summer has a lower intensity, softer colors, more delicate, winter, strong, vivid, vibrant. So in this part of the color analysis, we're looking at the difference between the brighter, stronger, more vivid, saturated colors on Neve against softer colors. So they're a little bit more delicate and they're both going to be cool. So in some way they will suit you. The difference here is, and for this you can remove your hairnet if you wish. <laughs> um, the difference here is we're looking at the overall picture now and thinking about does the color steal the show from Neve, which we never want the color to do. Everything should be complementary, everything should be harmonious. A softer grey blue against, mm. ooh, now, this is a bright Chinese blue. Mm -hmm. How do we feel? Um, although I'm not loving this blue, yeah, I think the softness of this blue is better than the intensity of the other blue. Yes, I, I totally agree. This is stealing the show completely, yeah? And maybe we don't love this one, but I would certainly choose it over this mm -hmm. one, yeah. So, you know, already we're getting indications here that you may not be fully bright and you may not be fully muted. Could be some combination of these that we need to figure out and that's mm -hmm. what we're here to do. Now, a couple of greens. We've got a mint green here. Delicate, soft enough, which is quite nice, versus a true green. The first one, the mint looking a bit wishy-washy in the face. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, again, the coolness is working for you. The intensity, not so much. Bit light as well. Mm -hmm. The depth of this color and the clarity of it definitely working better for you. So another point to the more saturated colors, the high intensity colors. Okay, a couple of yellows now. How do you feel about yellow, Neve? I don't like yellow. Not something you wear, right? No. Sometimes you're going to have colours in your palette that you simply don't like, then don't wear them. There's no point in wearing colours that you don't like, so that's okay. But we'll still have a discussion over the intensity of the yellows. Okay, so we've got this more delicate, lighter yellow against a stronger yellow, more vivid. So if you had to choose, I know you're not a fan of yellow, but if you had to choose... The stronger one. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you need that contrast against your your face. So you've got... This is actually quite a, um, a slightly softer red. It's watermelon, okay? Cool red versus... Do you see how much punchier this one is? Yeah. Uh, still cool. It's a cool blue red, a little bit more intense than the watermelon. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't see that either one of them are bad. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure actually which one would be better. Sure. Yeah, and that's fair enough as well. They are very close. Um, I think I prefer this one. There's very little in the difference, but this one just gives a little bit of sharpness to your features mm -hmm. in, in a good way, more definition is what I mean, mm -hmm. um, than this one. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'd go with this more saturated color here. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got kind of a soft, smoky, dusky burgundy versus a stronger, Fuchsia. I prefer the fuchsia over this. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Again, more definition going on. Uh, I think that's quite nice on you. Mm -hmm. That's quite nice. So overall, I think, you know, we were kind of, on some of them, 
I think maybe only one of them we picked the the softer one yeah. uh, only because we weren't a fan of either of them I think yeah uh, but overall we certainly leaned toward towards more saturated colors. Mm -hmm. So if we go back and look at our chart, we're in the cool zone of winter or summer, summer being low intensity, winter being high intensity. That makes you a? Winter. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. Now, when we say you're a winter, that's only first the first part of the puzzle because once we enter winter, we've got three sub seasons. We can go cool winter, dark winter and bright winter. What's the difference? Well, bright winter is at the very high end of intensity. That is bright, like the that Chinese blue that we saw, really bright, okay? So we already might have an idea that that may not be for you. Um, darker winter colors have a little bit more softness in them uh, and more depth in that there's more black added to these colors, giving them that, that depth. Um, it's closer to the the autumn season, okay? And then you've got cool winter, which is uh, very cool. A lot of the colors will be low in their temperature in that they're icy, mm -hmm. okay? There is absolutely no warmth in these colors whatsoever. And I think a couple of the times we did say, you know what, the warm is not terrible. So, you know, we're gonna try three different palettes here. I'm not going to tell you which palettes we're looking at. We'll play a little game. <laughs> and if you're playing along at home as well, uh, let me know what you think, if it's the first group of colors, second group of colors, third group of colors, but we'll, uh, we'll find out at the end. Okay, so we are looking at the winter family, as we said, and now I'm going to show Neve three different groups of colors. So one is going to be part of the bright family, one is going to be part of the cooler family, and one is going to be part of the dark family, also known as deep. So um, without telling you which is which, Neve, um, we're just gonna simply think, okay, do we like one palette over another? Do we like them all equally? Um, do we have any strong feelings either way about the palettes? And uh, then we'll have a discussion about if you liked palette one, two, or three best, or you like them all equally. All right, we're back to yellow. <laughs> Um, and again, this is, it's a cool yellow, okay? So we're looking at a lemon yellow. Um, how are we feeling so far? <laughs> I know you're, you're not mad on, on yellow, but um, let's move on to another color part of that family. Now, how do you feel about wearing white, Neve? Um, I don't wear an awful lot of white. Yeah, um, we could actually probably just see it with this drape rather than, because you can see it through mm -hmm. the blue. Why don't you wear a lot of white? I just don't think it does anything for me. Okay, so we're not loving this so far, maybe, <laughs> okay. Uh, and I'd agree that a pure, true white, I think we can do better than that because there is, um, there is a white for everybody and not all whites are made equally. There's off whites, there's ecrus, there's warmer whites, cooler whites. Um, and this pure white, I'd agree, we can do better than that. Okay. How do we feel about this, this blue? I do like a blue. Okay, great. Okay, lots of different types of blues as well. We can have mm. warm blues, cool blues, deep blues, bright blues. <laughs> How do we feel about this one? Um, yeah, I like it. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's nice. I'm not sure that your eyes are shining. We're not getting your eyes in, in focus. Mm -hmm. I think the intensity is good. Um, the fact that it's a cool color is good. I don't think we're quite there. I think we can do better than that. Okay, red. Okay, so we're looking at a, a blue red. How do we feel about this? Let me get that green out of the picture. Um, yeah, it's okay, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. We're, again, we're looking for better than okay. <laughs> and again, you know, all of these palettes are gonna suit you to some degree because you're already within the winter family. Um, but we're looking to get the best colors for you and leave you in no doubt. So I agree, it's nice, it's nice, yes. And we have a cool green for you as well. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's yeah. okay, yeah, again. <laughs> I think that's quite yeah. nice, yeah, yeah. So within those few colors there, there were things that we said, yeah, nice, 
yeah, okay. And some that were like, no, I don't wear white, don't wear yellow. Um, and they weren't working so well. So kind of a 50-50 type of a palette there. Let's move on to the next palette. And again, I'm not going to reveal, although you'll probably guess uh, which one this is. And again, we're thinking to ourselves, do we like this about the same as the other palette or do we prefer it? Uh, or do we like it less? So we're trying to eliminate one of these palettes or if we can't eliminate them, there's a chance that you could be part of each one of these families, which could be possible as well. Now, we've got quite a, a clear pink. How are you feeling? I can see there's something, the cogs are turning, what's going on? I like pink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this pink. Yes, I like it, but I think we've seen better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got another red here. Thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> you, you, when it comes to reds, you seem to be nonchalant. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether uh, they might bring out like some bits of red in my face that I'm not keen on. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Drawing attention to, right. you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so obviously that's not something we want to do. Mm. And in which case, you're best off staying away from any types of reds. Doesn't matter if they're cool or warm. If you feel like it's bringing out reds, best to go for something that's going to reduce that. So we'll move on from there. Um, we've got this kind of, a, it's a very light, icy, no, <laughs> okay, shaking the head. Mm -hmm. That's a strong reaction, yeah. let's move on, okay. I agree, not doing anything, like insipid, just no. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got this clear green. I do like that green. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. that. Um, do you see how much more we like this type of green versus an icy green? Yeah. The difference is the depth here, mm -hmm. right? We're, we're on a much lighter end of the scale here. We've got more depth than this. So, you know, that's giving us hints at where we might be heading, uh, that we like those darker colors, especially giving you that definition around your face. The lighter ones, mm -hmm. a bit wishy-washy. And then back to this blue that we've seen before it's not for me yeah it's completely stealing the show yeah yeah exactly um and just to do like a little experiment if we put that color behind you we can ask ourselves what's the um what's the main thing we see here is it the background or is it you oh the background the background yeah so when we say that the color is too strong for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I totally agree here that the color starts to become the interest of the photo, not you. Of course, that's not what we want. Okay, we want you to be in focus. Okay, so how do we feel over that palette against the the last one that we saw? Um, I think there were more colors in the last one that worked better and yeah. than the one just I saw this time. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Brilliant, so we can probably eliminate that one, right? So we've got another blue, slightly different type of mm. blue. Okay, how do we feel about that one? That's a nice blue. That's a really nice blue. Yeah, just about the right amount of intensity there. Mm -hmm. um, a cool color for you. Nice, I like mm. it, okay. How do we feel about a forest green or p rather a pine green? So that's a cool green. Yeah, I like it. It wouldn't be my favorite now, but it, mm. I think it's okay. I quite like this. Um, your eyes have become more green now. Okay. And I like it. There's a good amount of depth there that you need, I think. Mm -hmm. um, definitions there. Yeah, quite like that. Okay. A purple. <laughs> well, <laughs> what's going well, on? You know I like purple. Um, but <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I think that's a nice purple. Um, probably not one I would have gravitated towards. Okay, yeah. Uh, I quite like it. Um, yeah, it's giving nice definition. It's on the cooler side. It's got the depth that you need. Yes, I like this green. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. And then finishing with the navy. Yeah, I like the navy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's that's a good. Everything's good about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Um, so that is the third winter palette. So out of the three, which ones would you say? Oh, the last. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. So what we've just seen there is called Deep Winter. Okay, so the intensity here, it's, it's not the most intense of the winter families. Okay, so you're moving away from those bright, bright colors that we saw. Okay, they, they're just mm -hmm. too overpowering for you. You need to bring the intensity down a little bit. Um, in terms of depth, that's the quality there that works well for you because, mm -hmm. you know, you've got dark hair, your eyes are, are quite dark, okay? And they even come into focus more when you've got those dark colors around you. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got a little bit of coolness there, which we know works. Okay, so when we're looking at our chart again, we're looking at dark winter. Now there's a way of clarifying if we're moving in the right direction, okay? And that is if we take a look at what I call the sister season, which comes over in the opposite direction and shares the same dominant characteristic in that it's also dark, which is dark autumn. So what I'm gonna show you now is a few colors from dark autumn. And if we like those as well, the difference is that we're gonna ever so slightly be on the, the warmer side. Okay. okay? Um, but if we think, you know what, that's also a good palette that you could dip into, then we're on the right track here. Okay. So now we're going to test that deep autumn palette and we will see if we like most of these colors. Okay. So Neve, this is a color that we saw earlier on, if you remember early on in the analysis mm -hmm. against black. And we thought that we actually preferred this. So you'll notice that it's not a terribly warm, warm brown. I could show you a warmer brown. Here's an example of a warm brown. And do you see that we would stay away from the very warm autumn colors? Yeah. Not where we want to go. But I quite like this kind of almost like a bitter chocolate on you. Mm. That works quite well. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Um, we did talk about you wearing white earlier and that it wasn't your best or your favorite. And when we move into deep winter and cross into deep autumn, we can lean into a softer white. Mm. Okay, which this one is, it's slightly softer. Even you can see it compared to the drape that you're wearing. Mm. More wearable. Uh, if you want to go for your light neutrals, but I'll always prefer having that contrast next to your face yeah. where possible. You, you tolerate the dark colors and contrast around your face really well. Mm -hmm. Keep your neutrals, like your light neutrals, in other parts of what you wear. You know, it doesn't have to be near your face, but if you do go for something, it will be an off-white. An ecru is probably best. That's a nice blue. That's a really nice blue. Yeah. So again, we've got the depth here. Uh, it's slightly different to the blue that we saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see how it's just a little bit clearer mm. than this blue, but both work. You could lean into either one of these really well. Yeah. Both could work. Uh, so we like that as well. A forest green. Okay. How do we feel? Yeah, we've seen this one before. No, we haven't. Oh, have we? No, no we I haven't. We did. No, no, no. Well, what was that? <laughs> I'll show you what we, we had what? before. We had the pine green. Oh, pine. Yeah, so the, which is also in a forest. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> yeah. You're right there. Um, so <laughs> they're both in a forest. But you, you see how this one's a little bit ever so slightly more blue? Yes. Than this one. Okay. Yeah. Not much in the difference. Both are deep, deep colors. Both are in forest <laughs> uh, and both have that depth to them, which you can wear very well. And another purple. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A nice purple, right? A nice purple. So would we say that we could wear either one of these palettes quite well? I think so. I think so as well. Yeah. So that confirms that Deep Winter is our is, is your color palette. We've confirmed that with going into 
deep autumn or dark autumn as it's called as well. So neither one of these palettes are um, very cool or very warm. They're quite neutral. The dominant thing that you're looking for is the depth of color. That's mm. always gonna work best for you. Okay, having that deep richness, the contrast around your face, that's where you wanna be. The second question you're gonna ask yourself is, is it a cool color, okay? If it's cool, that's exactly where you wanna be. If it's warm, no problem, you can still wear them quite well as well. I'm gonna show you as well what you could have won <laughs> had you gone for, I think we, we safely ruled out the bright winter palette, okay? Too much, too much. If there was a second option, we could have gone cool winter. If that was the case, that means that, uh, first of all, the dark, uh, dark autumn wouldn't suit you, okay? Mm -hmm. That would be the case, but we know now that that does. But if we really want to be extra sure, we could say, okay, you know what? Let's check in with the cool summer palette because if that works for you as well, um, then we could have leaned into cool winter and you would be purely cool and not be able to tolerate those warmer colors. So let's check that out. So let's see if you could tolerate the cool summer palette, okay. So the difference here is we're looking at colors that are gonna be moving in the lighter direction. They still have a lot of blue in them, okay. Mm -hmm. So they're, the main thing is that they're cool um, and they're gonna be softer than the palettes that we've seen before, okay. Mm -hmm. How do we feel about the pink? I like it. <laughs> yeah, uh, from what I've seen in the other palettes, it's not giving you that contrast, that punchiness next to your face. For me, it's too light. Okay. Yeah, the deeper colors, that, that fuchsia, that beautiful fuchsia that we saw, gorgeous compared to this, mm -hmm. no question. Then kind of a gray blue. No. Ooh. Mm -mm. no. Casper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No contrast there for you. Mm -mm. Yeah, absolutely not. Kind of a powder blue. <laughs> Again, I don't, I don't hate it. <laughs> Yeah, and of course, you know, you're still sharing that quality of the coolness. Mm -hmm. uh, I just noticed uh, it's bringing out some blue I under the eyes. It. I do. Yeah. Okay. Not what we want. No. Let's move on. Okay. Now we're moving into slightly deeper, which is getting better, I think, yeah. you know, because we got that depth. Okay. Not bad, but I, I'm, I'm missing the punchiness of the color. Okay. How, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. I mean, I'm I, I'm not hating these colors, but that yeah. that could just be that I like color. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna be the best on me. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And of course, of course, they're not gonna be bad colors because it's in the cool family where mm -hmm. you are. Um, but you know, they could just be on the lighter side, the more delicate side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I get drawn to these colors. I know so. you, yeah, I know you do, yeah. Yeah, uh, again, not bad. If I was to pick this pink or the other deep fuchsia pink, I'd go for the deep fuchsia. Yeah. The deep yes. fuchsia. Obviously, this That's one is... That, it's so rich and gorgeous on you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's only really when you start to compare colors like that, this is like, okay, mm. blows it out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> it completely blows it out of the water. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah. So I think we can confirm that we've arrived at... Dark winter. Yeah, also called deep winter in mm -hmm. some cases as well. Um, but let's do a little recap of what we've gone through here. Okay. So Neve, the first thing that we did in this color analysis was look at your undertone and whether you were cool or warm, okay? Mm -hmm. So we tried some warm colors on you. <laughs> okay, uh, against some cool colors yeah see how much clearer your skin is and this just becomes a little bit yellow mm -hmm. yeah okay lovely just tilt that like, yeah there we go. okay yeah mm -hmm. great okay perfect after that we looked at the intensity that you could tolerate so we compared softer colors can you see that mm -hmm. okay softer colors to more intense colors and we went with, n neither are bad by the way, because at the end of the day, we arrived at a palette that has kind of a, a medium intensity, okay? But 
between the two, this one certainly brings more definition to your features, mm -hmm. puts you in focus. Yeah, we didn't want to go all the way bright. We're kind of medium intensity, medium high intensity. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can check to see if you can tolerate that high contrast or low contrast. So this is when we start to talk about um, the intensity of colors next to your face, but also wearing patterns. Um, so let's have a look and see which ones we prefer. Um, here is an example of low contrast. Okay, and again, we really need to compare it to understand fully. High contrast, no. High contrast completely stealing the show. And this kind of confirms that we're, we can't really tolerate this, this really intense, bright colors. We need to kind of tone it down a bit. Are you all the way into a muted part? No, I wouldn't say that either, but it's much better than that, mm -hmm. yeah? So we need to go for that kind of medium intensity, which makes sense for us in the crossover between winter and autumn. So going through each of the seasons, we decided spring was not for you. It's too bright, it's too warm, and it's too light. Okay, not doing great things. So we eliminated that. We had autumn palette. We decided that you had something in common with autumn and that was the depth of the colors. Not necessarily the warmth. We don't want to go too warm with your colors. So we need to bring that dial down. Um, the intensity of some of these colors worked quite well, um, but really it wasn't a palette that we were going to work from uh, as a final product. Then we had the summer palette. We liked the coolness of these colors on you, but too light uh, and some of the colors too delicate. Okay, so not quite there with that. Then we had some of these winter colors, not white because that's very, very cool. Mm -hmm. um, but we liked some of these deeper blues on you, the deeper greens, some of these pinks and purples were beautiful on you. And that is where we arrived at a deep winter palette for you, where you could also cross over into the deep autumn palette. How do you feel about that, Eve? Great, yeah. It's making things a lot simpler in my mind um, on what to colors do I approach and yeah. which colors I leave alone. Let's talk about the colors you need to leave alone. <laughs> okay, so the colors that we need to leave alone sit opposite what we're talking about. So mm -hmm. we go opposite to dark, we move into light. Okay, we stay away from light colors. We're talking about winter colors, cool colors. So we need to stay away from warm colors. So that's light spring. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you what light spring looks like. You'll know then to stay away from those. Do you see already how this is feeling like it's just out of whack, <laughs> out of harmony. Mm. Um, there's a slightly warmer white. Really, we're not. <laughs> exactly, right? Okay, so when you've got that strong reaction of, oh, that means we've moved in the right direction, okay? All right. So here's a booklet that Neve is going to go away with. She can see all the information that she needs to see. And she gets information on beauty products if she decides to wear makeup, uh, including blush, lips and eyes. Also, there's information here on base colors for her wardrobe, uh, accessories, so accent colors and jewels that she might like to include in uh, her collection as well, as well as a big group of colors that she can choose from. We have to find that balance of what colors look good on you and what colors feel good for you. That's the sweet spot. We never want to be forcing colors on somebody who's like, who looks at their color palette and go, huh, what? I don't like it, I'm not gonna wear it. Um, and actually you've got your purple on here that you're wearing today. Mm -hmm. um, if we just take this cape off you now, you know, that's quite, that's, you know, and if it got a deeper one underneath. And, and there you go, perfect. Yeah, exactly. 
So you're doing the right things already, but it's great to have more options. Right, we'll leave it there for today. If you're curious about any color consultations, whether online or in person, please get in touch and uh, you can visit my website, thestylecoach.ie. Thank you very much, Neve. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>